Savannah. Come on. So anyway, I was thinking that we could uh, go over and see what Mark and Giselle have going. I know that they're setting up their their uh, tent for construction right now. And we'll talk about the jobs that they plan on doing while they're here. I know they're going to do one for Lois, but I don't think it's going to be the only one that they do. And then we'll head over to the sewers and check in with them and see what's going on as far as uh, how they're getting set up. I know that there's a lot of them in there right now. And then we'll head over to Dan in the admin tent and he can tell us um, the process for when you sign up and you get your wristband, you get your sticker, and you get uh, the job you're signed, you know, the, the workstation that you're assigned to do the work you're here for. So everybody's clear. One of the things that we had going on is uh, folks would, would uh, be assigned to a team, but it was unclear which team they were assigned to. They would just send them to solar. And that's really the team, the station that needs the most organization because there's so many solar jobs that's probably 70 percent of what we do here is solar so we'll get uh dan to run that process down for us and then we'll see what other trouble we can get into throughout the day but we'll start there i think i'm good on this except for i got my shirt all wet jamie you want a hot dog i'm good on those two you gave me thank you very much for doing that you're my pleasure and hey by the way some money because you're going to the grocery store for what tomorrow for, okay. just for groceries period that stuff comes up thank you so no thanks for keeping me fed i really appreciate it it's my pleasure all right first of all thank you guys for chipping in on the gofundme that did that did so i really appreciate it and i know a lot of you guys even said it in the comments hey man why'd you shut it down we were wanting to go ahead and donate but uh it was decided uh collectively that we go ahead and shut it down but we exceeded what we were going for and I think we're going to be fine we're, we've got some mechanics here so one of the advantages that we have is if we buy a three thousand dollar van and it needs a little bit of mechanical work we're probably just looking at parts unless we have to put it on an alignment machine or something like that so thank you guys so much for chipping in on uh, CC's new van and we just got her some batteries earlier today she's got the solar and the inverter and everything but uh, we're kind of helping her uh, piece together and fill in the gaps and hopefully we'll be out actually physically searching for a van for her in the middle of the week next week remember monday i think is veterans day and so everything will probably be closed but that's coming up let me tell you a little bit about mark and giselle we're going to go visit them right now i don't know if both of them are around i don't know if either one of them are around but they build vans out as a business and so they're professional, they started out as professional carpenters and they're really good at what they do. And they're the ones that built out that van that we donated to a recipient at last year's van build. If you guys remember that on Thanksgiving day, we gave somebody a van. And so they're the ones that built it out. They do it professionally. And it, you see what my van looks like. My van is child's play compared to the work that they do. So we're going to go over there. And I just want you guys to meet them and get to know them a little bit. They're a lot of fun anyway, besides just being good at what they do. So we'll go over and do that. And then we'll do what we talked about with sewing and uh, admin. Let's go check it out. Knock, knock. Hey, how's it going? All right, going good. So this is Mark, is Giselle around? She's not, she went to do a consultation. Okay, cool. So. Uh, I just wanted you guys to meet uh, Mark and Giselle. Maybe we'll get some something of Giselle a little bit later, but uh, could we peek in your rig? Sure, So absolutely. you guys can see the kind of work that they do. It's pretty amazing. And see, they've got their workstations already set up right now. They tow a, a Jeep behind this thing, so they've got something to drive when they get to town. But uh, shall I just throw it over to you and yeah, just sure. walk this through? Yeah, sure. This is our uh, Chromaster. You guys going to like this. Um, got our art wall and our we have a pull-out sofa bed. So a couple of swivel seats, all the good stuff. Lots of windows. Composting toilet, shower. Talk about your toilet a little bit because I really like what you guys did. Yeah, this is uh this is the marine the marine toilet the uh it's called an airhead airhead the airhead 
composting toilet. It's got a, uh, it's vented and everything, and it's in the shower area. It's a nice. I like this one. It's got. A, I think it's sexier than the than the uh, other one. I do too. What do they come in at price wise? Thousand bucks, same as the other one. So same thousand way. bucks. It's more like of a marine grade. It's got the marine seat on it, so it's meant for boats. It's kind of a little bit smaller, but it's comfortable. Works good. Now, really could you like scoot it. that around if I wanted to move that? To, if I got one of those and I wanted to move it up to the front of the rig, does it scoot around? It's stuck to the floor. There it is. So, so the only thing is, it? that's the vent. It's got it's on a it's on a fan, a computer fan, twenty four seven. Okay. So if you you really need to plug that in, and so that draws air over the top of it, dries it out. So yeah, this is uh, definitely movable. Got to plug it into the vent. Yeah, I really like that thing too. So you got a nice shower. And that's awkward. Back in there. And I, I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't know what you got in your drawers and everything, but I'd like for people to see what these drawers are. Well, we re just redid everything. We put all of our dishes in the top now. And then uh, we converted this now so it's all tools. Yeah. And then this bottom one's all tools. Right on. And then this cabinet back here is all tools. Got uh, all kinds of power tools back in here. And I keep the generator down in here. A Honda 3000 generator. We'll be taking that out soon. So, yeah. Little shower curtain shower track is really neat. What do you find? It's like that. This is R-E-C-M-A-R, -E Recmar. You order this flexible, you bend this yourself. You can bend it to a three inch radius. So you can run it any way you want. Do you just bend it like with your thumbs or do you, you have a special You just bend tool? it with your thumbs. That's easy. And just these little brackets you can connect it to. It's really nice, low, low profile. And no you've got bed. a low draw refrigerator? Yeah, truck fridge, 12 volt DC. So these are real efficient, real nice. Lots of room, I like the side doors. I had a microwave convection oven right here, but we never used it so I took it out now we just put our bedding in here right on little chalkboard and so am I sitting on the bed what's at night yeah that's a slide out uh, slides out what do you got a Murphy bed is that what those are called uh, not really a Murphy bed flips down from the wall okay but this one just kind of slides out and the cushions lay down and we just put the bedding on it and during the day it's a sofa right on so. is there anything else specific you wanted to show huh my nice new walnut cabinets nice yeah. We didn't have these on before. We just had bungee cords went across here and we pulled the baskets out. So I put these in. And how do they stay in place and keep stuff from falling out while you're driving? Nothing. They're 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 pretty you got these two piston and just holds them to holds them down pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on demand hot water heater, forced air heating, Propex heater, works really nice. You know. Lots of lots of lighting. Look all on dimmers. Dimmers are great. Lots of lights. She likes these little clicky switches, so. Yeah. So what do you guys plan on doing while you're here? As far as, uh, <laughs> you know, last year you did that van that we donated. What do you, what do you have lined up? Uh, were you gonna do Lois? We got Lois, who's uh, an older lady who's been kind of having a lot of troubles getting, getting her van built. She's had a few people take advantage of her and stuff. And so, and she's a little stressed out. So we're gonna try and get her, get her situated, you know, get her on the right track. I think she's worried about too many things and you know so nothing's getting done so we got to get something done right you know I'm trying to tell it convince her you know let's just get it started you know let's we'll talk about what you need let's get it started let's and then you you've got something to work with because right now I think she's having that just hard to get started on it you know she's right got piles of wood and stuff but can't decide how she wants to do stuff so we're gonna so we're gonna figure that out well, you know, you wouldn't say this, but I ran into Lois at, in Havasu at the McDonald's line, and we talked about that Mark and Giselle were going to be doing her install, and I told her that she hit the frickin' lottery with these guys doing the, her install, and it really is true. You know, you guys do such good work, and for her to go from where she started to having the end point be you and Giselle knocking that thing out, man. Yeah. Good for her. Well, we'll see what good we can on get you done. for doing it. Yeah, we'll see what we can get done in two weeks, but we'll get her started. And she says she's willing to come out to LA and finish it up. So, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. And other than that, uh, we got people coming over all morning. Can you do this? Can you do that? So I'm sure it's going to be like last year, where we just, you know, can squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, I won't keep you. I appreciate yeah, you giving us a few minutes. I just wanted you guys to meet uh, Mark and Giselle. We'll see if we can chase Giselle down later, but also see their rig and, and get a feel for what's going on. They're just right across. You saw us just walk right over from my bus. So with that, let's head over to the sewers and see if we can uh, harass those guys a little bit. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you didn't see one of my sewing jobs and you just... You know, Cool. How many sewers do we have right now? What do you guys want to be called? Sewers, sewers, seamstress, just, just awesome. We're just awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> this is Amy, and she has volunteered to kind of oversee everything, and as people come in, get them situated, and the lowdown on how this whole operation is going to work with all of the sewers. How many sewers do we have? So far. Uh, I don't know. I, we, I had 30 we on have the some spreadsheet. come and go, yeah. Not all have showed up, but there's other who have taken their place, so I don't even have a number at this point. How, how are you powering so, all these sewing machines? We have a Honda 2000 out there. So a 2000 is well, doing yeah, all of this stuff. So far, yeah. If we get a bunch of irons going, that will be a problem, but we'll right. take it. There's other uh, generators that can come in if we need them. So. We'll, we'll go with that and see how it works. And okay. If we need more, we'll get more. Okay, what jobs mostly are you getting so far? Uh, what do we got? He's our intake person. Mostly curtains. Patches. Patches, yeah. Curtains, patches. Zippers. Curtains. What's Don't the difference call. between a curtain and a drape? Yeah. Well, probably the main way it's made with has the drape and lining and yeah. 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 yeah, lining and pleats. Yeah, <laughs> Google it. I would rather ask the experts than Google. <laughs> Here I am in the thick of it. <laughs> Thickness of the fabric usually, or the fanciness, yeah. or um, how much you pay for it, maybe, I don't know. Right, yeah, it's, right. It's, it's basically yeah, lining and cleats fancy. Yeah, the hooks are different. Yeah. Yeah. I got a job, maybe, if, if you guys would come look at it at some point. I want to do the sissy bar on my motorcycle yeah. with some really thick fabric so I can strap a gas tank to it and it doesn't scratch it. Oh, yeah, okay. So okay. We well, just... work, get a work order. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> We can talk about Go ahead later. and have a seat. Because <laughs> so, I gotta get some special fabric anyway. Lewis? You know what I mean? It's probably gotta be something <laughs> super thick and all that jazz. Yeah. yeah. You gotta bring your own materials. Yeah, bring your own material. <laughs> but thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate you guys coming and volunteering. And uh, I mean, without you guys, I mentioned having folks come so in the middle of a video two years ago. And I, and I mentioned it as I was doing the video. I didn't write it down and say, I'm going to mention this. And then this has turned out, you guys did more jobs last year than everybody else combined. It's such a huge thing. So that just shows the demand and that you guys are willing to come out and help like this, man. It's such a big deal. So thank you. Thank you. Thank I really you appreciate it. Thank you, Jimmy. What's that? That was the video that got me here. Yeah, you, re you remember I was up in the Pacific Northwest? There. So, all right, I'll let you guys get back to it. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, thanks, Amy. Uh, yep, thank see you guys. Good. How's everybody going with you here, Matt? We're good. Are you moving the batteries? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. I went and made another room announcement for clarification. A lot of these guys are in RVs anyway, so they've already had a little uh, cavity built into it for flooded batteries, yeah. so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to mislead people because I said they were AGMs. The yeah, first time. So, and I'm being very honest with everybody about it. Um, there was a few people that wanted to store them under their bed in their van. I told them, no. I mean, it does emit gases. It's almost like breathing in exhaust fumes. I mean, it can make you very sick. So I had to back out a few sales, talk people out of it, just because the fact of I'm not here to make them get sick or right. health issues. So right. being very honest, a lot of people that did have vans did show me a few pictures that they've already built cabinets with venting and stuff because they already had flooded batteries in there. Right. Um, and then I did uh, speak to Ken. Uh, so we're going to be here from today all the way down to Friday. 
and that's what now Saturday. Yeah, so, that's awesome. I think that's gonna make a huge so Ken's gonna difference. come out here every day. I, I'm only gonna be here today, and tomorrow, and then Ken will be here Monday to Friday. Okay, so so how many uh, people have bought batteries? Do you think so far? Um, I think we're about 20 20 batteries in right now. I have a lot of people that are waiting to get their solar done. Um, and then after that, they're gonna come over and grab some batteries. So oh, cool. Got a lot me. of them are uh, waiting for tomorrow, and then hopefully next week we'll have big sales. People are getting paid, I guess, Wednesdays and Fridays. Yeah, so. a lot of people are waiting to get yeah. paid. That's another thing yeah. to take so, into consideration. I think it's gonna be a good turnout. It seems to be a good turnout for everybody right now. They're moving a lot of solar panels too. Good, so. good. Well, I appreciate yeah. you being here, man. Hey, of course. We're gonna go Thank hunt you. down Tom and see what's going on with the solar team. So All I'll right. Check in. If you need anything, let me know. How are you fixed for water and stuff oh, like I that? Oh, I got water. I have food. I came prepared. We so. can get somebody to make you a lunch too. No, I'm all right. Yeah, all right. I brought lunch all packed up. I brought it easy up if I get hot. Set the easy up. All right. Well, just so. don't be shy if you need something. All right. That's all. I appreciate that. All Thank right, you. Man. Yep. Okay, put the hat on you. All right. Let's see if we can find Tom. I have no idea where he is. How you guys doing over here, Dan? Let's talk to the. Let's talk to Santan Solar. You got a minute? You mind Absolutely. if we? Uh, sure. Fix you. Likewise, how's it going over here? Good. We're, our goal is to get rid of everything before the day's over because <laughs> we don't want to have to load the truck up again. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. No. So this is San, This is Dan from Santan Solar, like we talked about in a couple of videos ago that's coming down here. And he's got, uh, he'll correct me as, I, as I'm wrong <laughs> I about gotcha. this, but uh, he's got three or four different brands of solar panels, uh, three or four different uh, ratings as far as like some of them are 300 watts, 325 watts, whatever, and almost all of them are under $100. And when I say almost all of them, the couple that are over that are like $115. They've even got some 245 watt panels for $45. And you're welcome to come down here like if you were here and put your voltmeter on them and put them in the sun and see what they're putting out. Yep. And, and uh, won't you go ahead and expound on what I just said? Sure, yeah. We've got uh, five different types of panels, so ranging from the lowest is 245 watts, the highest is 345. Sorry, I'm going to just push oh, yeah, yeah. you over here so sure. the mic oh, yeah. the blankness instead good, of the good voices. Deal. So, yeah, the, yeah, the lowest we've got is 245 watts for $45, the highest is 345 watts for $115. Uh, and then we got a couple panels in between. We've got a 250 watt sun power mono panel, and that goes for 90. We've got a 327 sun power that goes for 110. 10, and then we've got an LG um, mono that goes for th uh, 335 watts and that one's going for 130 and that's the highest price but it's also it's a great panel so yeah got a couple different things and they're all great deals on average we go for about 30 cents a watt is kind of what we shoot for I think the highest is 20 or 38 the lowest is something like 27 so they're a pretty good deal I, I do a lot of the research and figuring out if anybody has lower prices and I don't think I've ever found anybody that is consistently lower on all their panel prices so we're hard to beat if somebody is watching right now and they might need a solar panel, but they're not here to get the kind of deals that are going on here, yeah. how do they find you? So we've got a website, uh, www.santansolar.com. There's an e-commerce platform. You can buy all the panels on there. Otherwise, you can come visit us in our store. We're just uh, southeast of Phoenix in Gilbert. Uh, we've got a brand, brand new warehouse. It's big, lots of panels there, and we'd be happy to help you out. And these are all 12 volt panels, yep. which means they put out about 24 volts, 23 volts, something like that, yep. but they're called 12 volt panels. Yep. So what you'd want to do if you're at home and you want to get solar for your rig, shop around, see yep. what kind of deals you can get. Go on Amazon, go on some of these other places. But before you do anything, make sure you visit Santan Solar, <laughs> you know, so you've got that comparison Absolutely. under your belt yep. and look at the different prices. And these things are guaranteed. What's the guarantee on them? Well, the, the panels are supposed to, built to last 25 years. That's the typical warranty. So at least 25 years, a lot of times longer than that. Will Prowse even talks about on his website, like we go, they're built for 25 and expected to last much, much longer. So we're pretty confident they'll do a good job for you. So you're, you're getting a good solid panel. Absolutely. The main thing I want you to know though about this is the, the price is, uh, you're not gonna find a better price, but look for yourself so you know, yep. and make sure you measure the width of your van before you buy these panels. It's okay if your panels hang over just a little bit. Yep. I, I do a lot of installs where the panels hang over maybe three inches on both yeah. sides, but you don't want to get behind the eight ball with respect to if you're gonna put, put a fantastic fan on yeah. or you've got special considerations with the slope of your roof you want to take all that into consideration before you buy something and you've got the measurements right on their website to know what their panels are going to be so you just want to make sure you get something you can use once it arrives in the mail yeah. but uh, Santan's here and uh, yeah a lot of people are getting some solar panels and then we've got interstate across the way right here uh, with their uh, their deep cycle batteries so with that let's go find Tom
and there he is. We just went all around to look for you. Oh, dude, I just I told him I said, right James, you were sneaking for you. up and you kept going and, farther and away. And we saw you were going the other way. He came back to the deal. That's the way it always goes. It does. Okay, so the I... timing is really close. So I probably gave you too much. Oh, you think? So let's talk about how we could tweak that to make it make well, sense. Well, what I've done is I've taken Daryl on my team, who's a pretty sharp guy, and I made him team leader. So I'm not team leader or team two anymore. I'll just take care of the thing overall. Because it was too much trying to watch the team and coordinate everything and deal with people. It was too much. Daryl just happened after we talked? Yeah, the problem with that is, and, and I don't know if he wasn't really, didn't feel like telling you at the time, but- I know he doesn't He know. doesn't feel comfortable. Like, he feels comfortable helping. He doesn't feel comfortable being the guy who says, you need this and this and this. Oh, I can still you guide know? him, let them do the work. But I can guide him, tell him what right. to do. That's not a problem, that's easy. And if we get- but I don't have time to do both, and sit there and right. work on this stuff and do the other shit. So right. I didn't say shit. <laughs> oh fuck, I said shit on the air. Oh God damn it, I said fuck. Oh, you ever that routine? It was uh, Albert Brooks did that on one of his comedy albums. It's funnier than shit. I'm old, but I'm not old. <laughs> that was hilarious, yeah. <laughs> Not so, Mel Brooks, Albert Brooks. So the we'll still, guy, if somebody, ass. if a heavy hitter comes in that wants to volunteer for a team, we'll still bring him over to you and your oh, team hell yeah. too. Because I want to lighten, the, the lighter your load is, the better job you're going to do. Absolutely. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I was yeah. kind of running in circles for a bit this morning. And that's my fault. Yeah. And so we're fixing it. No, we got it under control. It's yeah. not a big deal. We got it adjusted. Yeah. So uh, I just don't think it makes much sense to have you going to each individual's no, trying to doesn't. track people's deal. No, it too makes much, much more sense for the person that needs a consultation to. to go to the team that's going to do the work for them, let them do the consult so they know what's up. And if, then when, you know, they can recommend what to get when they come back. Oh, yeah, we know this. You know, if this is still happening by the time uh, Jax Austin gets here, he's got two electric bikes. Let's steal one of them from him and give it to you for that. OK, hell yeah. I'm getting some mileage. And he should be here around the 18th or 19th. Oh, and nice. so it's going to be a few days still. But uh, I know for a, a fact he's got two. There was a guy bikes. here yesterday who was running around on one of those because I stopped him to check it out. And he has two. He said I bought two of them because I got a better deal. Let's uh, find him and see if we can borrow one of them. Yeah, it's a rad power bike. The guy, long hair dude, was riding around. You know, when I was, when I was parked right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, I stopped him. And he's like, yeah, he's like, they're, this, they're 1500 if you buy one. and they're 1300 if you buy two, so I bought two. That's cool. So yeah. we need to get you an electric bike on loan through this. That'd be fun. So you can, because you don't need to be worn out at the end of the day. I sleep well, man. You know what I mean? They said the music was loud last night. I said, what music? Yeah. I didn't hear anything. It was really <laughs> loud. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Nothing to hear, man. So if guys come over, I went and talked to the, the solar team or the admin team about putting a number on work orders. So you're not getting work yeah, orders yeah. without a, the solar team written on it. Right. So we fixed that. Yep, that was, then, that, that's 90% of it right there. Okay. That being corrected. Well, and also we've closed off solar, right? So we weren't taking any new orders. They're taking them right now, but they've only got maybe 10 more jobs that they can take. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna have to close right it out. It, yeah. Well, it would be awesome too if they could number the jobs, you know what I mean? If they we said- We can't because we don't know what materials list they have. Yeah. Oh that's yeah, the, that's, that's, the, that's the catch. Having the stuff dictates your, your uh, place in line. That's right, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Well, if it was as it was last year, there were times that guys were just staying around with nothing to do. And so if that, you know, we could open up and do some more jobs if that occurs. Yeah, give them one of your work orders maybe. Yeah. We've got plenty to go around. So. Yeah, I've got plenty to do on my rig. Yeah. Okay. But well, we're going to get it all done. I There's got... no reason for anybody to panic. we got hey, lots Anna. of time. Relax. Have fun. Take it easy. Oh, this is the fest, man. Yes. This, is, this isn't, I got to get it done right now because I got to go to my... Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. We don't play that game. Yeah, there are some Take of those. Take it easy. Yeah. Hey, you said you'd be at my place in 15 minutes. Well, this is probably going to be an hour and a half now. This is yeah. bad bill time, man. Yeah. This, we, see, there's no clocks. We don't have no watches. This is free we labor. when we do it. Yep. And that's just perfect because it's right now. That's what time it is. Yep. <laughs> Where we're living right now. Right on. Okay, yeah. cool. So it sounds like we got that all sussed out. Yeah, it's gonna and we good. started, by the way, I was wanting you guys to meet Tom. This is Tom. We started over at uh, Admin to go find Tom. Here he is. He has been doing an incredible job. He was here last year and uh, he's got a lot of skill. Him and Sean Paul both been pitching in, getting these uh, solar jobs sussed out. And so that's the process from Coming to the uh, admin tent, just to wrap that conversation up, getting your wristband, uh, getting assigned to the teams for your work to be done, 
and then getting your consultation so you know what to buy or what to round up for materials and then getting in line to get that stuff done. So hopefully that helps you get a little bit better, better picture of what it would be like if you came here and you were having work done. So thanks for watching all that nonsense and see you soon.